Well, it's funny. Uh, he, uh, Blue Champion also was asking us what we thought about the sequel that's coming to Frozen. I thought since we have kids, I'm that would be an interesting topic that. to talk about because I've Frozen is shit. huge, right? Yeah. Yes. And so let me preface my comments by saying yeah. a friend of mine, we kind of talked about this before a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh, but that was actually the pre show conversation yeah. me and your wife had. Yeah. So it's like Frozen. It's huge, right? Yeah. Huge. And, but it's not as big as Lion King. And people need to realize that Lion King was just as big, but you didn't have social media like you did yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Because you had the Broadway plays, you had the shows, you had the cartoons. I mean, everything. Merchandise everywhere. Everything. It was, it, once yeah, Lion the King came out, Super yeah, Trump it was game. everywhere. And everyone was singing the songs. There was t shirts, there was musicals, there was CDs, cassette tapes back in the day. But you didn't have, you weren't socially connected like you are now. Now, you, you, you Instagram something, it's everywhere in two yeah. seconds, you know, across the world. So it's like, Kids, like I grew up singing and learning that I knew who my Todd. I could sing it now, you know. Yeah. Like I knew it, and now I know my kid, my parents singing it. I imagine I did, you know. And that's the thing yeah. is, everyone's like, "Let it go." It's so annoying, blah blah blah. Yeah. But like, the, the people knew how to hit, write a hit song. I mean, kids, well, no our shit. kids know how to yeah. sing the song. Yeah. It's insane. And they they, they yeah. played on they the radio, like yeah. uh, like XL on Mix One Hundred Five. Everybody, everybody was playing. They yeah. made like Demi Lovato have her own single. They did. Of course, they it's did. genius. They yeah. they were so smart that it is. I'm excited about that. Wow. Yeah, so a sequel. I mean, I it's based on the was it the Snow Queen uh, story or the the uh, Hans Christian Hans Anderson, Anderson, Anderson yeah. Snow Queen. So yeah. it's uh yeah. it's one of the old classic. I don't know. I just it's know a classic. Well. It's yeah. like from all the like. Those are books with words and no pictures. I don't know that shit. I'm a fucking redneck from Polk County. I don't know that shit. Yeah. 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 Well, that's what Disney like. I mean, Walt Disney. He he took old classic like fairy tales and stuff and and tried to you know reimagine them, revamp them up, and that's what you you know that's what because you think about Tangled, that's it's called Tangled. It's not called uh, Rapunzel. Rapunzel. You know, so like. That's what they're trying to do with these movies, and I, and I take feel, an idea in there. Really. Take an idea in there. Genius! They're going to make so much money off of it. They're already doing so well off of this one. Still, yes. making. Tons well, of I read money. an article. Uh, was it Elsa and Anna costumes for Halloween? They they sold four million costumes. Kylie got one. Yeah, four oh, yeah, million. One. It was like hundred twenty five dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. The costume was hundred twenty five dollars yeah. from Disney. Yeah. yeah, it was from the Disney store. And like uh, her wig, we got her wig, and the wig was like twenty five dollars. Dang. Wig. My wigs don't even cost twenty five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like our daughter is two, and she, and she she's only seen Frozen what how many times? Fifty times. Okay, so she's, been, she's seen it fifty times. I didn't realize she's seen she's it that seen many it a couple times. times. She's she's I didn't, I didn't realize yeah, she's seen it that many times. But now it's like she doesn't even like she could speak a little bit, but very small, like a couple words. But now she's starting to like. She'll be she, the song. All yeah, like, like she won't be say, she won't be saying the actual words, but she is definitely humming something that sounds yeah. like "Let It Go." Yeah. If I come out, it's not oh oh oh, oh. but like that's what it is. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. It's I, I it's, it, it 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 resonates with kids more than anything. Like like I love the Pixar films, right? Well, yes. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of Pixar films. Pixar films kind of you know I feel like they encapsulate everything. Like adults, children, everybody can get into those movies. I think Frozen's really good too, but I think Frozen kind of, you know, they're trying yeah. to hit hit the kid demographic there, you know, with with Olaf and stuff like that. But Disney's always done that I before. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, did you guys see the other Disney animated movies like the uh, Tangled and Wreck It Ralph mm-hmm. and all yeah. that stuff? Your kids are watching Wreck It Ralph. Like, yeah, Wreck It Ralph right now. Wreck It Ralph is really good. I've never seen Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. I do like Frozen. Yeah, it's good. I think it's great. Yeah, it's fun. Thank you, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. I probably watch yeah. it at least. Oh, I have. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's so funny though. Here's how you know your son's watched it a lot, right? So we, my son goes to a VPK, right? And he's, you know, he's about to turn five, but he's in the VPK program, and they're having this big deal where they're like, oh, we're gonna have Frozen night, dinner night at the, his school, and and, and uh, he's all talking about it the day of, and then I, I'm like, all right, well, we're gonna stay late and watch Frozen. He's like, no, daddy, I, I have it at home. We got it. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Well, he didn't want to watch it because he's already seen it so many times. Then we watched it. We got home. Blows my mind. Speaking of Disney movies, yeah. Kids don't know who Aladdin is. My kids don't know who Aladdin is. Blows my mind. Uh, Insane. I failed them. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. Rest in peace, Rob Williams. We know. Yes. We miss you, Rob Williams. Yeah, it's crazy. Nineteen ninety two. Think about up. it. Nineteen ninety two. That movie yeah. came out. I remember growing really? up. Nothing Insane. Like Disney movies. Yeah. And then you got all these. And, you know, half of them now are failed, and it's... Yeah. 1992, I was 10 years old. That is, is that Aladdin, 92? 92, can you believe it? Mm-hmm. that long ago, right? Yeah. Dang. I had a crush on Aladdin. 
Like, yeah, like, like, was, like, and it was, wasn't like, that one of the dance. newer ones? Was, 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 was it like, 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 Jungle Book hey. older than that? Is that Jungle Book's older, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happened with Bambi Disney? And yeah, and Disney Blade and the Tramp, is right? That Disney, dude? right? Yeah. So Disney had this like. You know, they started off. all my era. I'm old, right. you know. Yeah. You're old, too. Yeah. We're, we're old. <laughs> well, we, we've been rolling with conversation, but the girls have been having their own conversation. And they hit something that we need to, we yeah. need to jump on. Well, Lonnie said she had a crush on Aladdin. <laughs> I think we need to go with our cartoon, our kid cartoon crushes. Because I'm going to tell you right now, everybody has one in their back pocket that's your deep down secret that I, they don't want to talk about I in front of you. I have two. Yeah, I have two. Prince Eric. Uh, Who's Prince Eric? From Little Mermaid, Mer- 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 um, okay. which is why I married this guy because yeah. he's got dark hair and he's very handsome. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the other one is not actually—it's not actually technically a kids movie, but it's animated and uh, it's from the movie Titan AE. I don't know if you've seen it. What is it? Titan AE. It's an animated movie. And Matt Damon did Josh the Josh Josh Whedon wrote it. Yeah, he wrote the script. Josh Whedon wrote the screenplay. I, I have it. I'll borrow it to you because it's yeah. amazing. Like it's it's the time where where Creed was really popular. So they oh uh, Creed is like trailer. the whole soundtrack. Like yeah, so it's just falling off a spaceship and it's like. Can you take me higher? It is not. It's in the trailer, though. It's in the <laughs> it is in the trailer. It's in the soundtrack. But, but anyway, yeah, so the really character uh, from that movie, his name is Kale. And that was, uh, Kale, that's a character in the Legends. Oh, oh yeah, but it's a girl. But yeah, that's that's my two ca- uh, cartoon character crushes. And kale is a not very tasty leaf. So. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm eating like a son of a bitch on this diet, man. They're like, you could have kale chips, you could no, have kale uh, everything. That movie had Matt Damon do the voice, uh, Drew Barrymore, um, Bill Pullman, Bill Pullman, yeah, and John Leguizamo. Um, I'm trying to think, those John. are the main ones. Oh, and Nathan Lane. Invoice and uh, Gene Grappolo, I think was the other one. I yeah. might be wrong about that no, one, but I'm pretty sure that's one. Um, I can say that. I mean, Aladdin was like my first. I was like, oh, I just like his hands. It showed his belly and his chest. It was such a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, it gets it gets weirder because yeah. it gets weirder because my other like my second like most favorite like crush for a Disney movie was the. Um, that's <laughs> so embarrassing. It was the fox from Robin Hood. <laughs> no, I get it. I totally get that. It wasn't even a totally get that. that. It was a very handsome fox. It was a handsome fox, right? Oh, I like that green hat. No, I get it. I get it. Because they, they, they walk like a them. human. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. They, they, they humanize nice these animals. So, yeah. Like, yeah. No, I get that. Go ahead, Johnny. Who's your crush? Mine? I don't know. I really thought about it. Probably... She's like, I'm going to cut that bitch. Probably, I don't know. Probably Ariel. She was 15. Yeah, but when you were 6. I was like, yeah. It's okay when you're 6. I guess that's it. I don't know. That's it? No one else? I don't know. I watched like Jungle Book and stuff. You want me to be in love with some dude bear? <laughs> <laughs> that dude bear was awesome. Yeah. Baloo, baloo. Baloo. I, I always liked Belle from Beauty yeah. and the Beast because yeah. she was kind of like that. She was very like quiet, not you know, didn't talk a lot. And she kind of had that, <laughs> she had that mysterious, <laughs> you know, she was very like mysterious, kind of seductive a little Doesn't bit. Doesn't say anything, brings you a sandwich. <laughs> 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 All right. Hey. No, no, I just thought it was a full cool story. I don't think <laughs> this thing's really done a lot with Dream and Beast, right? Lately, like I feel like Emma Watson just got cast. Yeah, she did. She did get cast. Yeah. So the final Emma, Emma Watson, Watson. Hermione Granger. Oh. Oh. Wah wah. <laughs> but it does feel like speaking of movies like that, you know, they 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 uh was it they did Cinderella or is it out yet? Cinderella it's isn't out yet. yet. Yeah, but they've got the trailer. So they, you know, he had Maleficent. So so, so they're doing like all these films now. Disney's kind of going, let's do live action, you know. And, and so like I think it's double dipping. I mean, if you're Disney, think about it. Okay, we've made a cartoon version of this is popular. People are in love with it. Let's right. do a live action version. Everybody's gonna come see it. We'll make our money back at least, if not more. And on top of that, same thing with Cinderella. They've already got the, uh, you know, the pumpkin turns into the chariot. The chariot's at Disney MGM, and you can see the movie ain't even fucking out yet, but you can go look at the chariot sitting out there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like we've been inundated, though, with, like, this type of movies. Because you think about it, we had, uh, what was it, Snow White and Huntsman, yeah. which was a 
snooze like fest. It. it was I a snooze fest. That was disappointing. It, very yeah. disappointing. And then you had the mirror mirror with Julia Roberts. That was. I didn't watch her. That was I awesome. Didn't even, and then of no, course, no so you had all these movies, and then of course Jack the Giant Slayer, which uh, yeah. I never saw it. I watched, I watched it the watched other day. It. How I watched was it? The bootleg. I, I didn't really appreciate. Remember, did you watch? Yeah. It, it was. I mean, I liked. I liked the graphics, and I thought that was really cool. Like the yeah. scenery, special effects, and was stuff. awesome. Yeah. But like the actual story plot and everything well, behind it was like kind of cool. I was disappointed that yeah. one big time. I was like, yeah. Well, and then and then and then you have you know Could into the woods. Into the woods yeah. just came out. Um, End of the Woods was okay. It's a musical, yeah? yeah? Yeah, it was I okay. It, it was okay. Yeah. I mean, just it. just know that it is it is straight up a musical. Like, they sing at least 90% of the movie. Really. Yeah, like, they like sing, I've they heard sing, it's they basically like they sing every word of the like whole thing. Of like every no, there, there is a story. Yeah. It, it, like, different characters, their, their, their paths all, you know, intersect with each other and all that. It's it's It was good. And Anna Kendrick did phenomenal. Uh, my favorite was Meryl Streep. Yeah, she's just amazing, awesome. and like they're like she she has an amazing singing voice. I was not expecting that. I think they picked the perfect person for doing the the witch character. Um, but yeah, it is definitely singing like the whole time. Like they sing almost all the lines that moves the story. Like there's dialogue, but it's sung instead yeah. of spoken. So yeah, just you know, know what it is, because I. I was not expecting that when I went into the theater. Like I thought it was gonna be, you know, more like the class, like the classic musicals, you know, like Newsies or something like mm-hmm. that, where they're yeah. not singing the whole time. But no, they sang the whole time. So as long as you know that that's what you're walking into, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I really am really into musicals. So I mean, I would probably, I would watch it. I, I wouldn't go to the theater and watch, but I'd watch it. Yeah. I love it. Yes. Devil Wears Prada? Maybe. I know, right? Anything. Well, the talk's over. Did you crush these? Oh, actually, yeah, it's really crush. weird and really <laughs> random, and probably nobody will even know who it is, but there was this cartoon when I was a kid, and I'm talking about the vacuum little... on the Brave Little Toaster. <laughs> what? what? The vacuum on the Brave Little Toaster. That's a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> there was a cartoon called Captain N and the N Team, and it was all about Nintendo, and there was this kid who went into his Nintendo and got to hang out with, like, Mega Man and uh, the guy from Castlevania, yep. Simon Belmont. Man, I miss this man. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is like I'm throwing it way, way back. Eighty eight. I was like, I it, yeah, I was I like this. four when this came out. Yeah. But was there was this princess that ruled all of Nintendo Land, and her name was Princess N. And I thought she was the shit. Like yeah, I thought she could. Princess. Yeah, I was yeah. like, okay, she could walk on water, and she was totally '80s. Like she had this huge, yeah. crazy, like <laughs> '80s hairdo, and it was just redonk. But I was like, she's all right. I think. Yeah. She's okay, you know. <laughs> but I, I think it's because they draped her in fucking Nintendo, and you know, when you're four and you're a video game nerd, you're like. Yeah. You run yeah. Nintendo, I wanna marry you. <laughs> you know, you you know, you kinda get doped into it, but yeah. 